His men were thieves and prisoners. Broken, gutted, sore-footed, sway back dogs. You call yourself a horse thief? His lieutenant, a renegade cutthroat. I've been three men already in the set. That's, that's enough for one life. Lost in a hellish country. I didn't sign on to go chasing after no homesick soldier boys. On an impossible mission. You could be shot for this, Amos. My executioners will have to stand in line. From which none would return. Don't get yourself killed. That would inconvenience me. But he wouldn't give up. I think he figures on leaving stories about you to be told around a campfire to his people for a thousand years. He was Major Dundee, starring Charlton Heston, Richard Harris, and James Coburn in a Sam Peckinpah film. Major Dundee. William H. Bonney. He killed 21 men. I don't want to kill you, Bill. No, I sure hope you don't, Billy. And he was just a kid. Billy the Kid. You take this. My luck's running good. Patrick F. Garrett. He was the most dangerous outlaw in the territory. So they made him sheriff. Pretty fair shooting for an old married man. Just luck, I guess. Oh, he Pat Garrett had just one friend. Hey, Billy. Billy the Kid. And just one job. Kill him. Now Sam Peckinpah, the director who unleashed the Wild Bunch, takes a hard new look at two old friends, Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid. They were legends in their own time. Times have changed. Times, maybe. Not me. Get to it. One, two, three, four, five, six. I hope he gets away. Well, he won't. It's going to be a loose rope and a long drop. Well, I aim to bring the kid in. And I'm aiming to please him. You track you down, Billy. And get you. Uh, you know, this ain't no time of year to go looking for somebody. I don't know where he went. Better do better than that, Ruthie. I got to the point where I don't do nothing for nobody unless there's a piece of gold attached to it. Where is he? Fort Sumner! Fort Sumner. Where are we going, anyway? Fort Sumner. Huh? I know where the kid's at. I'll tell you where he's at. Old Pat ain't gonna like this. James Coburn. Bill! Chris Christopherson. Come on in, Pat! Jason Robards. Slim Pickens. Catty Corrado. Jack Elam. That'd be me, sure. Rita Coolidge. Chill Wills. Yeah. And introducing in his first dramatic motion picture performance... <clears throat> Plums. ...recording star Bob Dylan. They say that Pat Garrett got your number. Your sleep with one eye open when you wonder. Sheriff Pat Garrett. Adios. Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid. Legends in their own time. But time was running out. legends of the frontier west there is none as exciting as the reckless saga of the men who pushed the last outposts of civilization across the sierra nevadas the men who ride the high country you had them all up and i'd figure i was owed about all the gold we could carry out of these mountains looks like you've got a pretty good claim <laughs> 
Oh, it's a gold mine, honey. Why don't you come on over and take a look? The lure of gold and the lust for excitement held them together. Two of a kind when danger threatened, but miles apart when tempers blazed. You always fancied yourself faster than me. Draw, you damn tin horn! Everywhere, the wildness of the country seemed to get inside the people themselves. Even hard-bitten adventurers like Randolph Scott and Joel McRae were as rash as the younger generation, represented by two of Hollywood's fastest-rising young stars. When I questioned you about that boy, I should have gone a bit deeper into the subject of character. I came to Core School to be married, and that's what I'm going to be, married. Marriott Hartley, refreshingly different, with her red hair and freckles, recklessly pitted one suitor against another. Looks like the girl he's been going down the mountain to see. I'll say one thing, she's sure worth the trip. Looks like a warm one. Ronald Starr is the dynamic tenderfoot who'd rather fight than love. <laughs> Go get him, Tiger. You're doing fine. There were few who could say who was bad and who was good. Especially the two tall men who suited their actions to the era in which they lived. The Wild West was pretty well tamed by 1913. I saw one just like it in Waco. Hey, Pike, you know what I hear? I hear they take one of those things up north that can fly! Ah, oh, that was a balloon, you damned old fool. No, the old man's right. They got motors, wings, go 60 miles in less than an hour. Driven to the border by the irresistible thrust of civilization were the remnants of the breed that had made the West wild. If they move, kill them. The payrolls were harder to get at. The army rode the railroad now. But there were still a few trails for the kind who'd be cold before they were tame. They called them the Wild Bunch. Mike had been a gentleman of principle. He still had a principle or two. We're not getting rid of anybody. We're gonna stick together just like it used to be. When you side with a man, you stay with him. And if you can't do that, you're like some animal. You're finished. Dutch had dug for gold. He gave up digging. How many cases did you take from the train? 16 cases of rifles. We lost one on the trail. He stole it. Thornton should have been a lawyer. He always argued. Hold it! Relax, it's just some champagne we ordered. Sykes had been a gunman in his day. He still had the gun. We, we, we gotta get him back! How? Gorch had been trying for years. Sometimes he almost worked up to normal. I want you to meet my fiance. <laughs> 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 